Um, Johannes, you've spoken before about horror as a genre allowing filmmakers to get away with perhaps exploring darker subject mm -hmm. matter yeah, and, yeah. and throwing their characters really in at the deep end yeah. in terms of the human story as well. I wonder what you think it is about the genre that lets these walls be broken down so easily. It, it's a really interesting thing. It's, um, you know, the, it always, like, if the for me, the uh, an interesting way to say, for instance, The Exorcist, like, if you explored the themes that they explore in that movie of you know good and evil and god and the devil and be the most you know you did it as a straight movie it would be the you it would be like a lecture and mm. you'd just be like i don't want to watch that because it's done in a in a horror movie it, it you can really ex actually intelligently explore some some quite profound themes um i'm not sure what that is but it's um it allows yeah it just it um allows an audience to engage in a way that they don't feel that they're being lectured I think and then mm. they can get involved in it and, you know another side of the door does there are themes of of afterlife and and how far would you go I think that that um how far would you go to 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 speak to a a loved one mm. that that yeah, it really allows you to explore some very dark. Well, you, dark you get very dark matters. even before the ghost story kicks in. We kind of have this horrific drowning, we yeah. have a suicide yeah. attempt, an exhumation. Yeah. I wonder in the writing process whether yeah. there was anything you and Ernest kind of set out that you suddenly thought, actually, Do let's you, pull you, back uh, from that. As a, as a, in the writing process happens in a, in a kind of a bubble, and it and it, and it's very, it's very removed. Um, uh, yeah, and sometimes it, it can do, but. You you tend to not notice so much, and you just you throw all these themes, and you enjoy your characters to going down these dark routes. It wasn't really the the moment that I went, whoa, okay, this is dark. It was Sarah came on to the movie, and she brought the character to life, and it was like okay. And then we did the car crash sequence, mm. and I I directed the car crash sequence from inside the car. I, I, so I I jumped into the tank and. Was we were, and the water was filling up. Children screaming. And the children, two children are screaming. Sarah's screaming, and we are in a car in this made. There's no tanks in Mumbai, so they had built this thing, um, and the it was horrendous. Yeah. And screaming, and the camera's right in there, and you're you're really, f it's it goes right up to the yes. to the roof, um, and then you know we 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 cut the scene together. I remember watching it, going, "Wow, okay, this is this is much darker than." Yeah. than it's incredibly powerful. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. packs a punch, but I think it's it's very shocking to see it played out, and yeah. incredibly refreshing because you're then engaged with Maria. You know, whatever yeah, she throughout, does is sort of okay yeah, yeah, agree, yeah. with you. Um, we've just spoken with Sarah about how refreshing it was to have these female characters at the heart of the film. Obviously, yeah. there are parallels with J horror yeah. through the movie and this incredible setting with yeah. this spiritual kind of potential. I wonder if you can speak a little to the fact that you you had Peaky, you had Maria, and to some extent even Murtu as these female energies that yeah. drive the film. I, I wonder how you came to that place. Ah, that's very interesting. It, it is a, um, it's a, it's a, it's a very, feminine movie or all in all I don't know why that should be um it it, it like in, entirely through it's funny we were chatting I was chatting to someone about this the other day actually and I, I don't know what it is it's just a sort of instinctual mm. uh uh, instinctual thing. They're very traditional J-horror kind yeah. of themes as well, aren't yeah. they? It was just, it was lovely to see it play out in such a, a different context, yeah. I suppose. Yeah, it is. I really, I love the, the what J-horror did for, for horror movies. Mm. You know, it was very, it, it just um, suddenly reinvented yeah. the whole battleground of what, how to scare people. And, and I really wanted to try and bring that into this. And in closing, can we just yeah. speak a little to your preference for physical monsters? You were able to work with Javier yeah. and, and able yeah, yeah. To, to use him. Why is it in, a, in an age of kind of special effects that you are so you, drawn to physical yeah, you, monsters? Yeah, you can't, I think in this kind of genre, you can't, you can't scare people with, with um, with visual effects. I mean, there's a lot of visual effects going on to supplement stuff, mm. but 
you need a physical presence there to to feel genuinely scared. I think in different things in you know, Jurassic Park or whatever, you know, you can your dinosaurs can be maybe, maybe that's different, but but to feel genuinely unnerved and creeped out, I think there's something about CGI that just doesn't can't mm. do that. Whereas I think having having Javier Batet, you know, with his you know triple jointed craziness and all that, it it, it is it affects you in a in a in a way that's that's totally subconscious, and 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 that's what I think good horror does. You know, it's not jumps, it's not scares, it's not. It's not wow. It's just it just affects you in a very primal way, yeah. and I think that's what the series. Thank you so Thank much. You. For Thank you. Lovely down with yeah. us. Thank yeah. you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice.